let's take a few minutes and talk about how to customize your Excel charts to tell a story. Now, I see it way too often. People just kind of settle for the boring, default, standard chart formats and templates in Excel. But one thing that makes Excel so beautiful and so powerful and flexible is the fact that we have access to all of these different tools for customization and personalization, like chart titles, like formatting tools, like data labels, and much, much more. So for this demo, what we're going to do is look at a pretty small sample of data here. We're looking at five different countries across four different Winter Olympic Games, and we're tracking the percent of gold medals won by each of those countries. And the idea is to visualize it using something like this. It's a pretty simple chart. It's a clustered column chart. But all we've done is use these different formatting tools in a clever way, like data labels, like titles and subtitles, like strategic use of color, to not just present the data, but to craft the narrative that we want to tell our end user. So by using some of these simple tools that a lot of people overlook, we're able to make the key insight and the key story crystal clear. Now the common use cases here, for one, preparing visuals for use in presentations where audience comprehension is really, really important. Or one of my favorites, reducing the chance of users misinterpreting the story that a chart or graph is designed to communicate. So let's jump into our Excel workbook and practice using some of these customization options. All right, so if you're following along with the course, you're going to open up your pro tip workbook. We're looking for the customizing charts demo, this two star demo in our visualization tip section. We'll link right out to that yellow tab. And here you'll see our little sample of data. We've got five countries, Canada, Germany, Norway, Sweden, and Russia. These are the top five countries in terms of Winter Olympic medal counts. And what we're looking at here is the share of gold medals, or the percentage of total gold medals won by each of these countries across these four Olympic Games, 2002, 6, 2010, and 2014. So let's go ahead and select our data starting in cell B3. We're gonna go into insert. And in this case, I want a clustered column. But if I look at the preview here, this isn't exactly what I want. I don't want to cluster the years by country. I want to cluster the countries by year. So we can just go to more column charts at the bottom. This will give us the two variations. We want the second one in this case. Press OK. And there you go. So now we're looking at, uh, for each year, what share of medals or gold medals did each of these five countries capture or win. And if we resize this a bit, most Excel users would throw a title on here and call it a day. But we aren't most Excel users. We are power users, and we're going to use the tools available to us to make this visual much, much more meaningful. So let's go ahead and start customizing some of these options. I'm going to start just by right-clicking one of the data series, formatting that data series, and all I want to do is adjust some of the spacing here. I'm going to kind of tighten up the clusters so that they're a bit closer together. Negative 15 is fine. And then I want to increase the gap width a bit between those clusters just to add a bit more separation between them. 250 looks good. And now as far as the colors are concerned, this looks okay, but I don't like that this main series here, Canada, which is kind of my central focus, as you can see, the idea is that Canada is just dominating these Winter Olympics. So I really want to draw attention to that. I don't like that this fifth series, Russia, is so close in tone or shade. Um, so let's go ahead and just right click that one series, format it, go into our fill and line options, give it a solid fill, and just choose a green option uh, to really differentiate it from the other four series. Now we can make some other adjustments like maybe spread out our legend a bit to make it a bit more readable. Let's make our years bold, command B, Go into our home tab and increase the font size a bit to make those really pop. I don't really care about the percentage itself along the axis. I care more about the difference between the different series. So let's actually size this down a bit to a seven. Use control I to make it italic and that looks good. And now because we're starting to see this pattern or this story emerging, which is all about Canada's dominance, 
Let's go ahead and select that Canada series, right click and add data labels just for that series. You can click the labels to actually format how they look and are displayed. And in this case, let's actually give them blue fill, white font, make it bold. Whoops. I've somehow gotten into this uh, sub menu here. Select those again, make them bold and drop down to about an eight. So all those labels do is help draw attention to the series that we feel is kind of driving the story or the insight here. And I'm pretty happy with how things look right now. I think the last thing that I'd like to do is actually use the title and the subtitle to help tell the story and actually communicate you know, this narrative that is coming together. So I'm going to just delete the original chart title. I'm going to select kind of the background and create a bit of space here. And now with the chart selected, I'm going to insert a new shape and I want a text box here. And I'm just going to drag a text box into this space. We'll be able to resize it as we go. And now I'm going to start with kind of a primary title or a first line, which is kind of telling users what they're looking at, right? So in this case, it's the share of Winter Olympic gold medals. And this is really just for the top five countries. And you can use this exact formatting and wording, or you can write your own. In this case, I'm going to grab that top five countries text, control I to make it italic. I'm going to make the rest of this header bold to make it pop and then select the whole thing and increase to about a size 12 here. So that's just a descriptive header. What are you looking at here? It's the share of Winter Olympic gold medals for these top five countries. Now the subtitle is something that a lot of people don't use, but it's a great opportunity to communicate what we're seeing here, right? And what we're seeing is that Canada dominated the Winter Games from 2002 through 2014, you know, capturing an unprecedented 36% of all gold medals in 2010. Again, feel free to customize, tweak this as you see fit, but something like that that really tells the story in a crystal clear way. Let's go ahead and shrink that down to size 11. We can resize our chart a bit. And we may need to just tweak that text box to make sure it's visible. And all I'm doing is just making some adjustments here so that the subtitle, that second line, lives on one line. And to really make that pop and draw attention to the key points in that subtitle, let's grab Canada, make it bold, and to tie it to its data series and the data labels, let's make the font that same bright blue color. Same thing goes with this 36%, make it bold and blue. And there you have it. So that sounds pretty good. You can kind of tweak and adjust as you see fit. But now what we've done is told the story, we've drawn attention to the right places, and we've done all this just by using some of these relatively simple chart formatting tools. And because we had entered this text box with the chart selected, you'll notice that these two objects move together as one unit. So there you have it, a few pretty basic tips to help bring your data to life and tell stories with your charts.